Hey guys, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? So today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to find diamonds in Minecraft. I had a variation of this video a long time ago that did extremely well and I thought it was time that I made a follow-up video because the game has changed so much since then. So in the upcoming video, I'm going to show you a couple different methods for finding diamonds and I want you guys to leave a comment down below letting me know what you think is the best method and how you have found diamonds in your game because a lot of people use a lot of different methods so I would like to see what you think I have provided my best intelligence and my best information that I have received into this video so let me know what you think and if you enjoyed make sure you hit that like button let's go ahead and get started first thing that we're gonna do today on how to find diamonds is strip mining so there's a couple facts you need to know before we get into this number one lava lakes spawn starting at level 13 and go down to level 9 so, you got to be really, really careful when you're digging down. You don't want to die, obviously. Um, diamonds spawn from 0 to 16. And your highest concentration of diamond is from 5 to 12. Um, now, with Lava Lake spawning in that area, that kind of pushes the average height to about 10.2. That's what everybody uses. It, it seems to work pretty well, but you can also remember that if 10.2 is not working for you, which is standing at level block 9 looking at 10.2 is what we're talking about. You can always go below that where, you know, it's either 9 go up or 9 go down. So you would want to do it about level 5 as well. You'll probably find about the same concentration of diamonds on that level. So, um, now that we've kind of got those basic facts out of the way, the best way to really strip mine is to make sure that you don't miss anything. So I'm going to recommend that you strip mine too high, too apart. So why am I doing the strip mine this way? Well, first off, when we hit this level right here, we're going to see everything inside of this. So if I were to grab a piece of wool, this is what I'm going to see when I mine this level, right? So I'm covering, I'm pretty much covering all of these, this area that you're seeing. And if I go too wide, I'm going to see that same area on the next side as well. So if you look at this right here. We're covering all of that area just by doing that two wide length. And I suggest that if you're going to strip mine, don't go for 16 blocks and then quit. You're going to have to go for a little while to find some diamonds. Now, this is one method of doing this. There is another way that is popularized by Etho and Seth Bling called speed mining. So let's go ahead and show you that. All right, guys, let's talk about speed mining next as our way of finding diamonds. So this is a popular method of finding diamonds that was brought about from Etho and Seth Bling. Uh, it's a very fun way to actually find diamonds. So what this does is this is a combination of efficiency 5 on your pickaxe as well as a haste 2 beacon. So if you have the means to do this, it's a lot of fun. So what you want to do uh, for the best, just absolute best way to do this, set your beacon up on bedrock. Get your beacon set up and you don't need to cover it up unless you, you're really feeling like you want to. I suggest covering it up. It just makes things a little bit easier. So once you have your beacon set up, I suggest going to level 15, uh, which is right here. So if you look at our XYZ coordinates, we're standing on level 15, but if you look at the very bottom, it says we're looking at 16. So what, what would you would do is you can cover, you know, these areas like so fast with instant mine. You know, you can instantly break these blocks. So why not just cover everything? You're going to be mining this so quick that it's worth the time and effort to put into this mining all the way down to level zero. Uh, remember level five to 12 is your highest concentration. Watch out for lava pools. And the good thing about the 1.3 update with the enchantings uh, and everything being fixed is you can now put efficiency five on soak touch and on fortune three. I prefer fortune three. That's just me. Now remember with fortune three, uh, your best chance is about 20% to get a four drop. That's the highest you can get. Um, but other than that, you know, with this with this method, rather than trying to be efficient, you you're you're destroying everything. Just get as much blockage as you can possibly move, you know, and try to find your diamonds. So there is our two mining methods. Let's go ahead and move on to our next method. Okay, so our next method of finding diamonds is an easy one: using a Minecraft seed. Now, if you're that hard up for diamonds and you're willing to start a new world to find them, I suggest looking on YouTube. There are tons of great people who make content specifically based on seeds. I Deactivate is one that I really recommend. He's got a lot of great tutorials on diamond finding uh, for seeds, of course. 
So, with that being said, uh, if you don't know how to use seeds, you would just create a new world, name your world, and then go to more world options, and then here is your seed generator. Whatever seeds you find on there, make sure you copy and paste it in there. Make sure there's no spaces, anything like that. Just copy it, you know, number for number, whatever you're doing. Uh, and then when you load up the world, you can come into the world and most of the time you're either going to spawn near a village or a dungeon or some feature that this person in the video has found that's going to give you diamonds. So for ours, we've got uh, a village with some diamonds in the little uh, blacksmith house over there. So um, if you're going to do this method, I suggest getting the most bang for your buck. Um, there, like I said, there's lots of videos out there and seed websites out there that are going to allow you to get like 40 diamonds and you know crazy stuff off the start of this so make sure you find a good seed that you'd like um i even suggest probably looking at it in creative mode first just to make sure you like it before you start playing it if you're like me you like to play long term um so just make sure you like your world before you start playing it so that's all i got to say about that so let's go ahead and move on to our next option our last and final way to get diamonds if you are so hard up you can't find them mining, you can't find them cave exploring, you try to see it didn't work out, you hate it, and you're back in your world, trade for villagers. That's what I'm talking about. So villager trading has changed a lot over the last couple of different versions of Minecraft. Previously on Hermitcraft, I had ran the diamond exchange to where you could trade uh, less diamonds for what it cost to craft it, but since they have changed it, because I exploited the crap out of it, they have changed it since then to where you can only get enchant items. So you're not going to be able to get everything from a villager, but you can get some tools and you can get some armor and things like that, and that's what's important is getting you diamond gear since you can't find any diamonds craft stuff. So there are three villagers that you need to be aware of. There's a weaponsmith, there's an armorer, and then there's a toolsmith. Those three. So they all have the black robes, and so let's take a look at him. Now, they, they have, their trades vary, obviously, uh, with different emerald costs, but you can get knockback swords and axes and uh, anything that you can find that's going to be a weapon. So you won't see this guy selling, uh, you know, shovels or pickaxes or anything because obviously it's not a weapon the armorer is going to sell chest plates uh this guy right here and the toolsmith is going to do pickaxes um now you might get lucky and find some different variations of that and trading for emeralds now is really easy uh there's a lot of different variations of villagers that allow for different trades so with that being said Getting uh, diamonds or getting emeralds for the trades are really easy. I mean, you can, hell, you can trade for rotten flesh to get diamond gear pretty much now. Really simple to do. So, I hope this video helped you guys out. Just remember, um, the, 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 the three things that we really wanted to go over were mining, which includes strip mining and speed mining. Uh, level 10.5 or around level 5 are both your best bets. Um, seeds, if you're starting a new world, make sure you look for the best seeds you can get. Or villager trading to get gear since you can't find the diamonds. With these techniques, you are bound to get diamond in some way, shape, or form. And if you use these techniques, let me know down in the comment section below how you have found uh, these to be successful or unsuccessful. Let me know how you think this works out for you. So, if you enjoy the video and you think it's a great one, make sure you hit that like button as always, guys. This is iJevin.